I want to talk about champions. I want to talk about a very, very special champion that is the reason of my guidance to Islam. My grandfather. My grandfather was from an area which is called Zgharta in Lebanon. And subhanallah, part of the custom and tradition in Lebanon, they, they used to teach the children from a young age that would want them to learn a certain trade. So his parents were whom are Maronite Christians, the most strictest Christians in Lebanon. They've decided to send him to a tailor that sells clothing, but he was a Muslim. And this tailor, Tabarakallah, he had the character of a Muslim. At that time, my grandfather was only 12 years old. And he was observing, as youngsters usually observe. And this man, every time someone would come, he'd speak about Islam. So at an age of 13, my grandfather, who was 13 years old, he came to his employer, he said, I want to embrace Islam. Even though he used to chant inside the church, he had a beautiful voice, my grandfather at that age. He used to have a good relationship with the priests. But when he saw this beautiful character and what he heard, he was overwhelmed. And he said to his employer, I want to embrace Islam. His employer has said, I recommend that you don't go and tell your parents. He went and told his parents, 13 years old. They said, he's young. He's reckless. He will grow out of this. So they let him go. After when he reached the age of 15 years old, they brought him to the house. And mind you, they were very rich. They said to him, you have two choices. Leave Islam or leave the house. Nothing else. 15 years old, my dear respected champions, what are you sacrificing? A 15 year old will turn around and say to his parents, I want Allah. He knew what Allahu Akbar means. He understood this, my dear respected brothers and sisters. He turned around and they threw him outside the house, his house with only his clothing. He went to Brazil, stayed there for 10 years, came back to Lebanon. He went into a partnership with a Muslim and this Muslim ripped him off. Do people think that they'll be created and they will not be tested? You think you're gonna be left alone? Of course you're gonna be tested. This is life. Life is a trial. So he was tested. Everything that he saved over a 10-year period, this Muslim person ripped him off. His parents found out that this Muslim has ripped him off. And they said to him, listen, we've heard that you have lost everything. We wanted to compensate you. One condition, leave Islam. Very simple. Look at this champion, my dear respected brothers. He said, who told you I've lost everything? He told you, he said, I'm a multimillionaire. They said, what are you talking about? Your friends told us that you have basically lost everything. He said, I am a Muslim. And I'm a multimillionaire. I'm rich. Yes, my dear respected brothers and sisters, you want to attain, you want to attain this status and position. You want to attain honor. It is by being a Muslim. To Allah belongs Izzah, honor. And to his messenger and to the believers. You want Isa? Listen to the beautiful saying of, of Amr radiallahu anhu. He said, نحن قوم أعزن الله بأهش بالعروبة بأهش بالإسلام. I love the saying of Amr. And I want it to be engraved in your heart. He said, we are people that Islam has given us honor. Whoever takes honor with something else besides Islam, Allah will disgrace you. So you want to be a champion? Be a champion. Be a true Muslim. Be a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he changed his name from Zablid to Muhtadi. Did it end there? No, they wanted to kill him. They had actually plots to, to, to kill him. But Allah protects those who believe. My dear respected brothers and sisters, we want to be all champions by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The way to attain that is to be a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.